So for today, we're going to be looking at no backup plans. I got asked for not too long ago, and this is going to be a pretty annoying video because the no backup plans has a few quirks to it that I got to have to explain, but it does also have an ornament that's really cool. So I'm really excited for this one because a lot of this is going to be really, really cool to explain. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, help me sleep at night and give me a sub like anything is very much appreciated of obviously only if you like the video but yeah without further ado let's just get into it so no backup plans there's a few things we got to talk about before we actually look at the no backup plans first and foremost the no backup plans have a glow obviously it has this holographic armor look and what's really important is to note that the purple is only on void so it actually changes depending on which subclass you use so specifically void is purple solar is orange arc is actually light blue and stasis is dark blue so just be aware of that uh the other thing to note is the fact that the glows are actually different colors depending on where you're looking at them. So for example, if you're looking at it through the main character screen, it's actually gonna be lighter than how it actually is gonna be in the game. So for example, this purple is actually very light compared to how it actually is in game. In game, it's actually super dark. So just be aware of that. If you try to combine it through the player char character screen, it's gonna be a different hue when you're actually playing the game. So just be aware of that. And the other thing to note is this shaders pretty terribly. So let's get into the shaders. It the reason it shaders terribly is because the not only is the armor or the holographic armor like pretty much everywhere, but there's actually lines in the actual armor itself, as in the the like under armor. You can see like these purple lines or whatever color I have right now and those don't change color either. So when I say this takes shaders terribly, what I really mean is it doesn't really matter what shader you use because the glows will not change color. So just be aware of that. As for how it actually looks, it's really cool. I really, really dig how this exotic looks. It's just that I would have much preferred if the glow actually changed color. I like that it changes with your subclass, but it really does stifle you, especially if you want like a specific orange look, but you wanna keep playing your void that's gonna be problematic because void is always gonna be purple. So just be aware of that. As for the example set, I ended up going with a casual look for this one specifically because for me personally, I don't think this armor set looks or this exotic looks good with armor pieces. Uh, mostly because the holographic armor does not portray itself well when it comes to like actual armor pieces. I'll show you guys after I'm done showing you the example set because it will, we'll actually get in and I'll explain it further. But for the helmet, we're gonna be using the Contender Helm and the Contender Mark as well. I think those two are really good together. Obviously they're from the same uh, set, but the reason I'm using that is so I can show you that this glow is actually really close to the actual no backup plans, the purple one at least. The chest piece and the boots are also very casual. The chest piece is the Intrepid Exploit Plate. I really like this one because it has a very militaristic look. And the Ring Walker Greaves also give off that militaristic look as well. More punk, but I, I like it still. The boots really lend itself to it. So now, now that we're done with the example set, let me actually show you what I'm talking about. So this is how my Titan should be looking. And like I said, I really like the militaristic look. I think it really goes well with the arms as well. Just be aware that I probably wouldn't be using the contender mask or mark for it because I feel like it's a little too much. So I would most likely be wearing the Lux mark with a different shader as well, which most likely would be the, the uh, shader that I forgot to talk about again, which is this one, the iron bone. I really like the iron bone because it matches the brown up here. And I also just love this shader. It's like one of my favorite shaders in the game for sure. So this is probably what I actually would be wearing with this whole set. Although there's other pieces that you could be wearing for sure. Like something that I actually wouldn't wear this. I was going to say this one, but I forget that this shader, uh, if you have any armor pieces to it, it'll actually be chrome. So stay away from anything that has armor and you should be good specifically. Like something like this would be pretty cool. 
just be aware that this is the intrepid exploit mark so for those of you who don't want to use more than one piece then this is definitely not going to be useful for you but something like this would be super cool as well but again it's from the ring walker set so if i really were to just tell you i probably would be using i want to say this one but it just feels so far off probably this one to be honest just because it's the closest thing to casual although it for those who who know what my favorite mark is for my casual look then you guys will know it's probably memory of Cade. this probably would be the set that i would be using with this just because it looks cool very casual but for the glow i would only be using the contender helm for it because i feel like the contender helm is enough glow to like uh complete it so that's pretty much it like i said i'm not the biggest fan of armor pieces with it because it looks really weird like really really fucking weird so i will show you guys what i mean i would probably do something like this actually let's do this one so yeah i'd probably do something like this with a different shader and that just looks weird to me like it immediately looks weird and i know people are going to be like well it's too bulky you have to wear something that's a little bit smaller so that way it doesn't look weird and completely that's completely valid for sure it's completely valid and i probably would do something like certainly something like this actually so yeah like something like this with maybe a different mark uh fuck it we'll just use this for now but as you guys can see it it just doesn't look it looks off to me because because of the the fact that the armor is just holographic if it wasn't holographic if it was like a little bit more like solid looking i think armor pieces would have been good but again that's just me that's just my personal taste let me know what you guys think in the comments below i definitely think these exotics look super cool you just have to be you have to really work with them and like i said for me i think just overall the best look is a more casual look just because it's it's not only a lot easier to do it but it's just the fact that it looks a lot better like this than with for example armor pieces because armor pieces just make it look really really weird so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh as for the new ornament that i got this season it's called the piezo piezoelectric stratagem it's a really cool exotic that has super cool glows be aware that the glows are actually dependent on your subclass as well so it's the same thing as the base look the purple hue is only on void and so on and so forth so just be aware of that as for how it shaders uh mm, it doesn't shader as terribly because there's a lot more pieces that you can actually see but it doesn't shader like that much better it's just kind of the same it's just the under armor pieces that you're gonna look at but there is a lot more under armor that you'll be able to look at so that's probably the best part of it uh, as for how it takes shaders, like I said, uh, it takes it pretty well. It's just that it's unfortunate that the glow doesn't change color. I, I feel like I would have much preferred if the glow was not dependent on your subclass, but I do still think it's pretty cool. But in the back of my head, I'm like, but if I could control the glow, it would be way, way better. So it's unfortunate that the ornament followed that because I feel like if the ornament didn't, it would have been much better. Uh, as for the example set, I'm using a lot of organic armor pieces. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Dragonfly Regalia Helm, specifically because I really like how the helmet and the chest piece look together, which the helmet I'm using is the Apylos Following Plate, which is one of my favorite chest pieces in the game right now for the Titans. It's just so cool. Uh, for the boots, we're using the Descending Echo Greaves. And I do apologize that you guys see that like green check or whatever it's called. It's just that I don't have enough uh, material for transmog and I still want to make fashion. But this is this is how it's going to look when I don't have something. So just be aware of that uh, for the mark. We're going to be using the Florian mark just because it looks really good. And again, I'm trying to invoke that like almost organic metal type look. Uh, let's actually go in a little bit more in depth with this. So as you guys can see, this is how my Titan should be looking right now. And let's talk about what you can do with this because a lot of pieces in this is interchangeable uh the apylos following you could really you could really use a lot of the apylos following you could use the boots you could use the helmet you could use the mark even i would probably stay away from the mark because it's not that bony looking but the boots and the helmet hands-on you can use that if you want specifically 
you can use the Forian as well. You can use the Descending Echo. All of them are so interchangeable. For example, for me, I would probably end up using the, the Forian Helmet with this set, mostly because I love how the spikes up here uh, go well with the spike on the chest piece. Then f uh, the only thing that's kind of annoying, I guess you would say, is the fact that the the Dragonfly Regalia is not as interchangeable personally. I'm not the biggest fan of this set for Titans. It just, it doesn't look good. Like for example, this does not look good in my opinion. The boots are probably even worse if I can ever find them. They're over here. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Maybe the mark. Maybe the mark. I'm not sure. Obviously, you can change the shader. Thankfully, the shader I'm using has two shaders. So Imperial Opulence. And then for this one, go back to, I guess you can use this. Something like this would be pretty cool. Again, what's really cool is the fact that you have three armor pieces that you can really like interchange so many pieces. For example, descending echo mark, uh, obviously with the descending echo mark, you would have to switch it out like this. And then for the helmet, I guess I could just keep it, that, keep it at that. But something like this looks super, super cool as well. Again, it's just the fact that the Forian, uh, the Forian set from the 30th anniversary, the Apilos following from this season, and the what's it called? The oh my god, I, I always blink out on this one. And the Descending Echo set, just all of the, those three armor pieces are set. Uh, those three armor sets you can really interchange and make something really really cool. Uh, you can even use the the Forian helmet or not the Forian helmet. You can use the, the skele skeleton helmet, this one right here, which one of my favorites, honestly, hands down, you could do, oh, where is it, where is it? This one right here with, with uh, this one right here. And I I already like this enough where I'm like, I would rock this like without e without a question, but again, there's so many things you could do with this set that that's probably why it's my favorite right now, just because you can do a lot of stuff with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this is probably my favorite set so far, but let me know what you guys think. This one was pretty rough because again, this exotic is very stace or subclass dependent. So depending on what subclass you're using, it'll change the color, which means it'll change what color you'll be wearing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Remember, if you guys want to see a certain exotic, just let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on that video. It doesn't even have to be exotics. It could be certain thematic themes. It could be uh, certain armor pieces like, oh, can you use like this mark for the Titan? I want to see you do something cool with it. Again, I'm open to pretty much anything and I will be doing other content as well for Destiny 2. Just uh, fashion's taking a lot of my time, so, but yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.